ever seen something in a shop that makes you go, I could build that? Check out a small revolution in 4th South Leinster Street, Dublin, Ireland called Make Shop. So what is it? The Make Shop is an experimental retail slash workshop space set up by Science Gallery. It's a space where people can come in and they can sit down and do workshops on a walk-in basis. During the day, we treat the spaces like a cafe. So we have a menu and people can choose depending on time or how much they want to spend and what type of workshop they want to do. So they might want to do electronics or they might want to do something with arts and crafts. And we have a range of different uh, workshops that will suit whatever they want to do. We also have evening classes, which are more about longer term engagement. So we would do after the shop is closed, so they'd be more geared towards adults what kind of people are coming in and yeah, even doing the we've, workshops? We've been having all, all sorts, like re- really all ages, all backgrounds as well. And they're just really curious about Make Shop, whether it's about the 3D printer that we have in the window or just about the different items that we have on display yeah, and the different projects that we have. And even the sounds of like the drilling tools that work in here and people using glue guns. And it is, um, yeah, it, it, is, it is quite a curious sight sometimes. So, Davy, what are we making? We're making a doodle bot. So you can you could stick this combination of things onto anything. With this one, what we do is we stick it onto a tin, and we uh, we stick markers onto it, and we, we use the markers like legs, and the markers draw pictures. So thanks to Davy, we now have a draw bots or doodle bots. bots. Yeah, Sebastian, if you'd like to hook it up. The maker movement is something that's been kind of really building up over the last few years just with uh, magazines like Make and uh, a lot of blog websites and websites such as like Instructables where people are able to share projects of what they've done and share instructions and show other people how to make things and using the internet as a as a way of sharing knowledge um, as a type of show and tell as an exhibition site as well. Tins or cups, you know, different things that you can kind of use. What's your name? My name is Stephen. I am making the mono speaker today. It's pretty cool. It's not too complicated, but there's a little few finicky parts. Trying to keep everything in order without losing it's a bit difficult. I'm Vicky. I'm making the stereo amplifier. I've got two speakers. It's pretty interesting just trying to get everything lined up and make sure it's the right way around and stuff like that, but it's pretty interesting. I'm Rachel and I'm making a buzzer game. It's really fun. I didn't think I'd have as much fun because I'm a bakery student, so this is is kind of like (laughs) way out of my league, but it's great crack. I'm Nat. I'm making the uh, stereo device. It's pretty good. I've always wanted to solder and it's interesting just seeing how uh, kind of parts come together, you know, from the start. It's very good. I'm Chris. I am making the stereo speaker. It's okay. I messed up at the start, but uh, it got there in the end. <laughs> Fixed it all now. Yeah, no, it's good fun. And what's your name? Diane. And what are you making? I'm making the bike fly. Yeah, it was actually really easy. When we first opened, kids were still on their school holidays and uh, it was really busy with a lot of children coming in and doing the workshops that we had because I I guess there just aren't really any other spaces around Dublin where kids can come in and they can make their toys from scratch and and can learn about electronics and learn about circuits and the fundamentals um, behind most of the things we use today. What's amazing is seeing how intuitive a lot of it is and how most of them pick up on what would be the best maybe or most functional design quite quickly they all uh, seem to come to it themselves it's really a whole ethos a way of feeling more empowered about the things that we surround ourselves with and the objects in our environment and actually getting back to a certain sense of being able to make things and going against the modes of production that have been in place for the last 50 years, you know, the idea of black boxing technology and planned obsolescence and mass production in general, which they really don't want you to understand the things that you're using. They want you to just, you know, buy more. And that's kind of part and parcel of the whole production process. So I think the idea of the maker movement is really just about taking back control of the things that we use on a daily basis.